Well, I'm happy to be here and thank you for inviting me to be part of this, Wade. Uh, my name is Jerry Hikins. I am uh, currently the Executive Director of Thai SoCal. Uh, quick uh, background, Thai SoCal is one of 62 chapters of the world's largest entrepreneurial nonprofit. We support entrepreneurs via mentorship, networking events, uh, educational events, and also angel investing. So we have had uh, two funds. We have a small women's fund that invests in uh, founders. And then I also uh, am in the process of uh, just launched uh, a venture capital firm with a close friend and associate of mine by the name of OG Arabian Prince, one of the founding members of NWA for those hip hop rap fans. And uh, you know he's been investing and in, involved in technology since he was a teenager. So uh, we're excited we're gonna be uh, investing in diverse founders who we call overlooked and underestimated founders so moved here five and a half years ago from phoenix got entrenched in the startup investor ecosystem and kind of built my name and credibility by going to every startup investor tech networking event i could find uh pre-covid and uh and built a tremendous network uh with accelerators incubators entrepreneurial programs like yourself and the iee uh, venture capital firms, family offices, angel organizations. So uh, built a tremendous network and I'm, I'm a connector. I like to be able to put the pieces together and introduce, uh, you know what, I think so-and-so would be interested in what you're doing, whether it's an investor and in startup or just support people within the ecosystem to support each other. So it's kind of where I'm at now and biz dev and relationships and connecting people is kind of my role. And now also, you know, I've been sourcing deal flow uh, since uh, I moved here uh, pretty much so that's exciting and fun because it's a it's an interesting world and there's always there's always so many brilliant and wonderful ideas from these founders young and old that are yes. out there yeah uh, our Long Beach audience will uh, very well know Arabian Prince and your connections there and you've made a tremendous and have had a tremendous impact on okay. in the five years it's been significant so well, thank you so yeah. great um what we're here to talk about really is is looking at the startup ecosystem from an investor's perspective so if you think about investors they obviously want to return on their investment so when you think about the return um for an angel investor do you see that as different than a return for a venture capitalist are they they're often confused and people just talk about them as one type of investor. You know, they're often confused. That's a good question. They're often confused, but it seems like even since I moved here five and a half years ago, the lines are getting more blurred between uh, the two because there's a lot of venture capital firms now that are investing earlier on and in younger companies. Although now uh, with the current economic climate, uh, checks are being held a little more tighter to the chest. Uh, even uh, the angel investor world is rarely investing in companies that are pre-revenue now. Even having attended the Angel Capital Association Conference uh, the past couple years, one of the common themes is that angel investors just aren't investing in pre-revenue companies. Uh, whereas the kind of, the standard was the angel investors would do that early on more ID, not idea stage per se, but at least the pre-revenue companies and companies that were in that earlier process. And then the VCs would be investing more so when they're getting into that seed uh, series A round. And now it's getting more blurred. I mean, I think that and what the company has. Okay. So given this change in the ecosystem and this blurring of lines and pre-revenue, post-revenue, um, how you define traction becomes um, much more salient to the startup companies. When should they go out and ask for money if they're just going to be told no if they're not in revenue? And, the, and that's, that is the challenge that we're seeing right now in the ecosystem. Uh, again, you know, five and a half years when I moved here, I saw a lot of checks being written out to pre-revenue companies. But again, they needed to show that they had traction. And that traction is one of the things that and I'm gonna kind of say it, I think there are entities out there in the ecosystem. I always say this, I get on the soapbox and say, I think the system's somewhat broken because for me, I come from the background of it's a regular business. You go out, you build a business, you get customers, you build revenue, 
And then if you really wanna take it to the next level, you go out and raise capital and scale. Now the whole model seems to be in the media and the whole industry, and it is like, okay, come up with a great business idea, raise some capital and build a business. And to me, it's putting the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. But, and I think now because of the, you know, the slowdown since COVID with the economic time, I think it's getting back a little bit more to where it's like, oh, wait a minute, we need to see that traction. We need to see that you have market validation, customer validation, and that you have traction. And, and traction could be, and this is all subjective. Everything we're talking about now, there could be another investor watching this going, well, no, I don't necessarily agree with what Jerry says, but because it is subjective and it depends on what the individual you know, thesis and approach by whether it's a VC or angel, you know, what their personal approach is.